What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay. Welcome to day 12 of the Summer Painting Challenge 2021. I want to talk a little bit about projects, why they're important, and how they will help you grow as a painter. Now, nobody is going to expect Golden Demon winning award winning top tier masterclass paint jobs in 31 days. That's just not realistic. The point of my 31 day challenges is for you to set a goal for yourself and to strive to reach that goal, to try to force yourself to face obstacles and challenges that you normally wouldn't if you're not on the pressure of the clock, the timeline ticking down. This is a kind of controversial way to make you try to be better and to grow and to increase your skills and to get stronger. But I think it's a great way for people who have plateaued and for people who I find are growing more and more prevalent in our in our hobby. People who are so casual, they pick up a white dwarf or they see what's new and coming out on the Games Workshop or Warhammer community website and they think, oh, that looks pretty cool. I'm going to buy that. And as soon as they do, they chuck it onto the pile of shame and it doesn't get touched. Why do we do that? Why do we lose the impetus to paint even though we were so inspired and motivated and we, maybe we really wanted to paint up that new model, that giant model that we spent however many hundreds of dollars on or the new Battle Force that we went out and we bought because it was such a great discount and they had so many models and uh, it was going to be such a great project and you maybe built one squad and the rest of the Battle Force is still sitting on the sprues in your pile of shame. Well, the reason we do that is because we don't put ourselves on a timeline, I believe, and also we look at the project as too insurmountable. We don't break it up into chunks. If you can break up your project into manageable chunks and take it bit by bit, you'll grow as a painter, you'll grow stronger, and you'll basically level up as you get better and better painting that particular army with the techniques that you want to carry across that entire box set or whatever you're painting. And then in the end, you'll reach your goal. That's all you got to do. Just set your goal and break it up into manageable chunks. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little thoughtful look at the process of approaching a project. I'm going to get more detailed and in-depth as we get going, but I just want to give you something to think about in these little videos. All right, thank you to my patrons, Daniel Sprinkle, Scragfist, Pix, Dicey Guy, Play It Painted, Logan Swanson, Seption, David Moffat, and Shaky Painter. Thank you for supporting my studio. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you click the like button. Ring the bell for notifications every time I put up a video. We'll see you tomorrow for day 13.